What is up guys? I'm John the Potter. Welcome to the studio. It's so good to have you here. I have a great video for you guys today. I've been thinking about this video for a long time. Six ways to be more productive. And I also looked at the list and it's also ways to be more creative. So I think that this list of six is something that I, I don't say, I don't think I'm perfect at all six, but it's things that I think about when I need to be more productive, I try and instill these things into my life. If I need to be more creative, then I do some of these things too. So, it's coming right up. First, I wanna let you guys know that we have a restock coming July 11th. Sunday, July 11th at 6 p.m. We'll have a bunch of pots up for sale. We also just got our giant testile wall done, which I'm super pumped about. So in this restock, we have some new pots from inspiration from different testiles that we found. So this is 676 different combinations of Mako glazes, uh, and it's gonna be so awesome. We also have our event coming up August 14th and 15th. If you wanna come here, check out the studio, buy some pottery, pick them, combination that you want on a mug and we can glaze it and then ship it to you. There's gonna be a ton of good stuff. Check out the website, johnschmidpottery.com for more details on that. All right, let's get into the video. Okay, the first thing for being more productive is it has to start with a passion. So I have seen it in my life over and over again, I have been so productive when I'm passionate about something. And on the flip side, when I'm not passionate about it and I'm not super into it, I'm not productive at all. And so I just saw this on a recent Peter McKinnon video. If you guys watch Peter McKinnon, he's a great YouTuber that inspired me a ton. He wrote this down is that like, if you start with a passion, then that equals fun, which equals happiness, which will equal money. Whereas if you start with money, then that's gonna equal stress, which will equal no fun, which will equal dead passion. So starting with a passion is so key for being productive, for being creative, and just being successful in life. You gotta start with that passion. That's number one. Okay, number two for being more productive and creative is you gotta write things down. Think about all those thoughts that you have all day long. Like sometimes those thoughts pop in your head and like, oh, that's good, I should do that. Or that's good, I should make that. Well, those come and go so frequently in your mind that you have to write things down to like solidify them, especially when you know that they're good. So pretty much every day I have a list of stuff that I need to do. Uh, today it's like load bis kiln, shoot YouTube video, throw pots, take photos for the restock on July 11th. Um, I can do a glaze firing, and I gotta place a Uline order. So some of those things I've already done today, uh, but I at least have a list every day, and then I also have lists of things that are just like ideas. You know, this idea for this video, be more productive. I actually had this idea like three weeks ago, and I just opened up a note thing in my phone right there, and then I wrote down my how to be productive and creative. And there's my six lists that we're gonna talk about right now. So writing things down, put jotting down notes in your phone is so, so key to that productivity. So the number three thing for being productive and creative is putting those deadlines, like instilling deadlines or events into your schedule that are gonna force you to get things done before them. This is why I always like to put out restock dates like months in advance. So if you'll notice like for the summer we did a June restock, July restock, and then an August restock so that I'm like forced, I gotta get at least 100, 150 pots done before that restock. Same thing with this event that we're doing at my studio this year, August 14th and 15th, I know that I'm gonna work so hard to get a bunch of pottery done, to have the studio be in perfect shape, our house is gonna be really good. And so putting those events and deadlines in there can like force you to have some good stress. And so I wanna make sure I, I talk about that too. There's good stress and there's bad stress. And so the bad stress is where things are stressing you out, there's nothing you can do about it, you can't like overcome it anyway, but that good stress where you know you have to get stuff done and you know you can get it done, having those events can create that good stress so that you are able to be super productive. Next one, number four in being productive is to take time away from what you're doing. If you're like day in and day out just grinding, 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 it gets very hard to keep up that level of productivity. So today's actually my first day in the studio since last Thursday. So today's Tuesday and we were at the cabin, we were playing golf, we were jumping in the water, having fun as a family, uh, having fun at my wife's parents' cabin. And so that time away, like you come back with this renewed sense of like, I can get all these things done uh, because I've had this time away. So don't just grind, grind, grind all the time, but actually take some time away and think about that as well. Which leads into my next one, number five, which would be to 
move your body and get some exercise, take a walk, that sort of thing. Like if you're sitting down on the computer or whatever it is that you're doing on the wheel, like if you're just constantly grinding out, like taking that 10, 15 minute walk or you know, going on a bike ride, those things can be so good for your mental energy and then you come back with like this renewed sense of, I can get this done. All right, number six is to ask for help. So, so many times like I feel and we feel like we have to get everything done on our own, but you know, one of the ways that I'm able to own three different coffee shops and have the John the Potter YouTube channel and get a lot of pottery done is I have help. You know, we have 40 or 50 employees at Mocha Monkey that are getting most of the things done. I have, gen I have managers there that help get everything done. And then this summer I have an intern who's helped me. I could never have gotten this wall done without my intern Kai. Um, that was his idea. He basically did everything with, you know, a little bit of guidance for me here and there. But asking for help, you know, even if it's just from your spouse or your, uh, or your kids or your parents or whatever, like being productive, asking for help, not doing everything on your own is key to that. All right, we have one more bonus, and that is to remove distractions. These things are such a distraction, right? You go on here to check your email, and then it's like, might as well check Instagram, might as well check this. And then you go on your computer, right? And you're doing this, and you're like, ah, I'm gonna check email. So, so much wasted time happens from being distracted. So if you can shut the notifications off, close the phone, like really focus in, that's a huge tip for being productive and also for being creative too. I just noticed that like two seconds ago, I was, I checked my email on my phone and then I went on my computer and the first thing I did is check my email. Like, did I get an important email in the last five seconds that I needed to check? The answer was no, I did not. But I wasted 10, 15 seconds that I could have been doing something by like making videos or, making some new cool thing on pottery. All right guys, I hope that those seven tips were helpful for you. Uh, sorry I've been slacking on the videos a little bit. I, uh, summertime is just so fun, there's so much to do. I've been doing lots of this. And lots of this. So, I hope that uh, once we get through the summer and, well actually, EC and I are pregnant again, so we're having our third baby. So then we're gonna run into that. So I won't be doing many videos come when we have a new brand new baby. I hope to be getting more videos for you guys done soon. Comment below with any videos you guys wanna see. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out the restock Sunday, July 11th. And I'd love to see you if you wanna come to Minnesota, check out the studio. It's gonna be really fun, August 14th and 15th. I can show you a couple of my new faves. So this one just came out of the kiln. This was a combo that we found in the big test tile wall, super cool. This is also a combo that we found in the test tile wall, which is really cool. Uh, this is one of my favorite pots ever that was supposed to go up in the last restock and I accidentally forgot to list it, so it's going up in this restock. So anyway, love you all. Thank you so much for subscribing, following, all those things. We'll see you guys in the next video.